Welcome to the CX Pod Europe from TTEC. Hello and welcome to the CX Pod Europe from TTEC, your CX podcast providing thought leadership and executive insight on customer issues. My name is Mark Hillary. I'm a writer and analyst focused on technology and CX, and I'm your host for this edition. TTEC and Genesis are hosting a joint webinar focused on how to navigate the complexity of digital transformation. That's going to be on Tuesday, July the 6th, and you can find details of this event in the podcast show notes and also on ttech.com slash EMEA slash resources. As a preview of that webinar, we brought together Ian Banks, the EMEA Group Vice President at TTEC, and Baz Diepen, the Vice President Alliance and Channels at Genesis, to talk about current CX market trends and the TTEC and Genesis partnership. Okay, Baz, great. Um, could you just tell us then, what are you seeing as the, the market trends currently? Uh, great question, Mark. And I think uh, there are many trends uh, I see and, and we experience. But let me highlight two bigger trends I see. And, and the first one is really the increase of remote working. Uh, we really see a dramatic increase in people working remotely, in digital interactions, in the use of AI, and in cloud contact centers. We also foresee that those customer interactions in the future will increasingly also start virtual, avoiding any physical contact. So that that really brings us to a much bigger market, to new markets um, and a massive opportunity uh, ahead. Second, secondly, um, we really see the migration to the cloud. You know, many of the customers were already thinking about moving to the cloud. Um, you know, those, those who worked on those traditional legacy platforms, they had plans to, to, to migrate maybe in the near future. But, but given the circumstances, you know, did all, those plans really all accelerated. So, and, and that's reflected in, 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 a, in a breaking year um, of records uh, with, with us at Genesis. So those, those, all those plans really accelerated. And that really shows to us the need to increase our capacity and capability to really serve all those customers and prospects. So with that, we are so excited to team up. We're going forward here with TTEC because, the, you know, the potential out there um, that really justify our joint efforts in this partnership. Okay, Ian, how about from the TTEC perspective? What are you seeing going on generally in the um, CX market? I think within the CX market, we the word that's getting you or the words that are used at the moment is that digital transformation is a must-have now. I mean, pre-pandemic organizations talked about the ability to execute on digital transformation. The pandemic has hit us, and as organizations look to the future, it's becoming clear that it's no longer a choice. It must happen. But this is a mammoth undertaking for organizations because they don't actually, with organizations, they don't actually control the customer journey. They control the touch points within that journey. And as organizations take a step back and try to assess what a successful transformational future state looks like, they must be examining that end-to-end customer journey across all business units, but most importantly, across channels, because we are seeing the shift from voice to non-voice, from voice to digital. I mean, some organizations say the voice channel is now will be made redundant. We don't believe that's the case. Within TTEC, we look to deploy augmentation between people, process, and technology. So there will always be uh, a role to play for what we call our CX ambassadors. So once organizations have, have looked into that, it's about deploying the right strategy and the right technology to bring this to life. And again, it's, it's no longer about buying, buying product. And this is one of the benefits now of this TTEC Genesis partnership, where TTEC can bring that people process technology, augment it with the phenomenal um, platform that Genesis bring, but also complement it with the transformational solutions that T-Tech bring to the table. So this is where people need to ask themselves really specific questions. It's what's driving that level of dissatisfaction amongst your customers, but also amongst your employees, those frontline ambassadors. What are the most common contact types and what are the root causes of those contacts? I think when organizations take a step back, really do that end-to-end evaluation 
and understand that this is a, a big undertaking. The need for digital transformation and organization and partnerships like TTEC and Genesis is going to be key so that they have that one back to pact and one organization and partnership that can take them through that evolution. So we mentioned cloud computing, uh, remote working, digital transformation. Um, how are TTEC and Genesis positioned to tackle all of these market trends? Thanks for the question. And it really makes sense um, to dive into that. And if there's one thing people should remember, you know, in the answer, it's all about one word. It's called empathy. You know, one of the most powerful human abilities is to connect with each other through empathy. And empathy means, of course, that we first listen and try to understand somebody before we act, you know. So we also learn from every interaction for future interactions. But, but this empathy doesn't just make us human, it delivers tremendous business value, you know. And, and in our vision, empathy drives trust and trust drives loyalty. And that's what it's all about. So that is why we have made it the purpose of Genesis to really to deliver the power of empathy to every single experience. And this is why we introduced a new category called experience as a service. And the purpose is highly relevant to all our customers because it covers, in a way, two types of experiences. It is, it is the experience of their customers and what they offer to their end users and their employees through Genesis solutions. But it's also the experience we, as a vendor, provide to our customers and partners directly. So to me, that is not only talking about a vision, but really showing empathy in action. So with that, we have a fabulous platform to offer, which does not only give a solution for our customers today in the current needs, but also a solution for tomorrow. And this exactly tells us why we are so excited about the partnership, because it is TTEC with the eyes and ears and the capabilities to ensure there is ongoing value during the life cycle. So in this type of delivery, it's not about a transaction, it's really about a true partnership between our business partners and their customers. And therefore it's a unique momentum because we deliver on a partner first strategy. So we really put our partners in so-called pole position to really lead the race to the cloud to support you know, the, this massive increase in remote working and this accelerating migration uh, to the cloud. And as a result of that, you know, we, we are well positioned if you look to the leader uh, quadrant of, of, of Gardner. So it's great to get there, but it's even more important to stay there. So, you know, allowing us to continue to out-innovate our competition, that's what we need to do to keep that market leadership. And uh, this is why this leadership is always nice to mention, but it's really highly relevant for our customers today and our new customers, which we're going to serve together with uh, with TTEC. Okay, great. Thanks. And Ian, I mean, how are you tackling this need for transformation? And I guess this has become even more acute in this kind of post-pandemic era. Everybody's accelerating this as well. Yeah, absolutely, Mark. But I, I love the, the new category that Genesis just mentioned, their experience as a service. And actually, this is one of the reasons why TTEC and Genesis partnered, because we talk the same language. Because you heard me talking about customer experience as a service or employee experience as a service. Um, that's why this partnership works well. We have the same ethos, we have the same mentality and same approach. And when you look at why T and how TTEC are positioned, we've been doing this for, for four decades now. We started this as, let's say, a traditional BPO organization. So for the last nearly 40 years, we have been providing customer experience to some of the world's leading global brands. So we know what, what we know what works well, but we also know what doesn't work well. We listen to our employees. That's why employee experience as a service is so critical. And specifically over the last 12, sort of 10, 12 years, TTEC has been going through 
this evolution to really take the customer experience industry and disrupt it and augmenting that people process and technology. And you can see with our most recent acquisition of Avtex, what that now brings to us, especially in this day and age when organizations are looking at work from home, Bass talked about on-prem to cloud. That is such topical conversation at the moment with organization is how do you take me from on-prem to cloud? And with that recent acquisition from T-Tech, from Avtex to TTEC, we now have that over 150 migration experience in our toolkit and combine that with the TTEC complementary services that we bring to augment technology processing people. It really provides that completely differentiated solution that an, that an organization can come to TTEC in partnership with Genesis and give them the end-to-end service proposition. And we've done this for some of these world's global, bl- global brands. Um, and we can talk, it's not just about someone sitting up here saying we can do this, we can evidence it. And I believe that's what organizations are looking for as well in this day and age, as it's, it's a scary journey. I talked about it being a mammoth overhaul for organizations to move digital transformation. They want organizations that had experienced it doing it. Bass talked about Genesis being in Gartner's magic quadrant continually. T-Tech from a customer experience in that top right-hand side magic quadrant. We have got demonstrable experience of delivering digital transformation to our partners. And I believe that's how T-Tech, certainly with the complementary platform of Genesis, are well positioned to tackle those trends. That's great. Thanks. And clearly, you're both talking the same language here. Um, but what, what can you achieve together? You know, what, what is the, the purpose of this partnership? And what can you really do um, as a joint force that, that you couldn't achieve alone? If we just continue the story and you see what I shared about the trends and, and the massive opportunity and needs, uh, and you do understand, you know, our differentiated uh, vision and how that's recognized with a clear position as a market leader, you know, we have everything in place to go big and to go beyond. Uh, So really to bring it to the next level. So for that, we need more capacity and capability to really serve all the potential in in the market uh, here. And in that way, we are not looking for just a partner. It's our obligation to advise customers to work with the right partners. And those right partners are those partners who embrace our partner strategy, who show the commitment, um, uh, who show the investment, um, who talk the same language as we just uh, heard uh, also from from, from Ian, uh, but also who have the same sort of uh, mindset, but above all, who do have the same DNA. And I think that is what is happening here because, you know, what really binds us is our joint objective to drive maximum customer success. And to deliver that customer success, it comes back to this empathy approach, but it also comes back to what what are the experiences and capabilities in-house. So in that way, it's, it's great to see all the capacity acquired by the acquisition, uh, the massive acquisition of Aftex, uh, you know, at, at T-Tech. But even beyond, you know, we, ha- we have an, a platform which I told you is not a solution for today, but also for tomorrow. So in that way, it's super uh, differentiator and a big value to all the customers out there and the prospects that the portfolio of T-Tech to deliver more than just Genesis, so really work with our strategic partners. And, and let me just call uh, the close collaboration with, with Microsoft, where we have this triple partner play. If we really can deliver that um, in, 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 a, in a one go-to-market jointly, then we have a key differentiator. And um, in that way, we really talk about winning together because I think that is what a partnership is about. So winning together means for me, Winning for T-Tech, winning for Genesis, but above all, 
winning for our customers. And I think that should be very interesting for uh, people who do want to know more about this partnership to really uh, join us and really see what this could mean and impact uh, uh, to them. Uh, because uh, these, this is about a partnership, about true commitment. And uh, knowing both companies, we're going to deliver and we're going to drive the best experience as a service. That's fantastic. Thanks, Baz. And just finally then, Ian, if you could just comment on the, the partnership. Yeah, I, I'll be really, really straight to the point on this one because I think Baz covered quite a lot of areas um, in terms of the partnership. But the world is, and organizations are looking for a new approach when it comes to what we class as customer experience as a service. And you put it into four areas. It's the unification of technology, talent, and services. Being able to provide the end-to-end management of CX and employee experience, operations, and continual optimization of your talent globally, your technology, your consulting, and implementation and services. So that's point one. Point two, combining that with the best of breed solutions is how you implement, integrate, and manage a fit-for-purpose, best-of-breed, evergreen technology solutions that solves the problems and delivers business outcomes, not just today, but in the future. Point three, and this is when we start to talk about the cultures and the alignments there, and we we, we love to use this technology in, in T-Tech where it's about renovate, elevate, and transcend. How we meet our clients where they are in their maturity cycle. We maximize the value of previous investments. It's not People use the word legacy and they start to get frightened about that. We don't come in and we don't have this arrogance in this partnership that says we know best. We look at how we maximize the value of previous investments. We also look at a modular approach, ascertain where to start, how to renovate, elevate and transcend and how to keep our partners ahead of their competition. And then the final point, the fourth point for me is this what T-Tech and, and Genesis bring is a next generation commercial construct and partnership model. It's about creating a common vision and ownership of success through outcome-based pricing and joint governance. The days, the old days of the commercial transactional based, based commercial models are gone. Organizations are looking for customers and partners to come to the table with a next generation view of outcome-based commercial governance. And I believe with T-Tech and Genesis now in partnership, those are the, the four areas that I believe will create that new approach needed to fully execute on customer experience as a service. And my dogs are perfect timing as I'm wrapping that up just to start barking. So apologies for that. Well, that's fantastic. I mean, we were just wrapping up anyway, and uh, the dogs managed to get a comment in right at the end. So thanks very much, Baz and Ian. That's a great briefing. um, And we obviously look forward to a great partnership. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for listening to the CX Pod Europe. That's all we have time for today. Please check the podcast show notes or visit ttech.com slash EMEA slash resources to sign up for the T-Tech and Genesis webinar focused on navigating the complexity of digital transformation. That's on July the 6th. So goodbye. Thanks for listening. We hope to see you again for the next edition of the CX Pod Europe from T-Tech.